gentlemen. The family is sleeping. Yeah, so, we're gonna listen to some classical music. We're gonna do some drums. Had to decide what I wanted to use first. glasses off. You, you know what the ultimate goal is? Is to do like a figure painting or an anatomical painting of some sort while a full orchestra behind me plays music. That would be, that's goals.
Yo, what's up, fuzzy hoodie? Thank, thanks for the raid. I appreciate it. Welcome to the show. I appreciate you stopping by. Got me all flustered now. Bro, 100%. Uh, so, the nice thing is, I didn't even realize it like this about MS Paint is the custom colors and since you have nine shades you, you can do realistic paintings so i i never knew that about ms paint until i started messing around with it ah thank you um i'm actually a as you probably saw from the title i'm a professional oil painter let me throw this in chat real quick But uh, you can check out like my actual oil paintings. Uh, I'm working on a mural right now. I haven't posted yet, so. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't even know. And we'll swap over to the opaques. I have to be kind of quiet because my family is like dead asleep right now uh, or else I'd probably be having a blast right now with all of this. Yeah, what's up? Why am I using MS Paint? Because it's a challenge. Uh, I've used GIMP before. I've used Photoshop. I've used Adobe Illustrator. Um, and it's weird. None of them ever like really clicked with me. None of them like I, I don't do digital almost ever. But something about MS Paint kind of reminds me of my childhood and having like that first Windows PC. Uh, so it's very relaxing, it's very calming, but it also forces me outside of my norm and allows me to experiment a bit. So, yeah. It's, it's just like a nice callback to my childhood. I'd be, because like in M MS Paint, I have... Not, not that I really have a fear of failure with Canvas, but like with Canvas, it feels like it matters more. But with MS Paint... Who cares? It's MS Paint. But if something cool comes out of it, awesome. Uh, even if I don't create something that's like fundamental or mind blowing, I'm still like gaining skills and I'm still like practicing. So, uh, and it's, yeah, I try and draw something every single day, whether it's large, small, painting, you know, MS Paint, it doesn't matter. Uh, I graduated from college with my bachelor's in illustration and fine art like 10 plus years ago so every single day it's been like keep at it <laughs> uh, I do like gallery shows around the area and stuff like that but you know recent events have made that kind of difficult and uh, I, I do a handful of other things I'm a robotic welder I'm a personal trainer uh, the, the art thing, so. I used to Bob Ross it live here and there. Uh, do you have a tablet? No, I, I only use the mouse. Um, I have a friend who lets me borrow their tablet if I would like to do that type of work. But, oh no, I used them all through college. Uh, I own a Wacom. It's somewhere in my closet. I just don't touch it. <laughs> I 
I am forcing myself to use the mouse because I can use a tablet just fine. Uh, it's easy, it's pen and paper, but a mouse, uh, yeah, it, it requires me to, you know, re really hone in because I do first person shooters. So I kind of like, because I can, I can barely see the reticle for this, so it, it just keeps me sharp. <laughs> But uh, I appreciate everybody in the chat right now, the whole two of you and anybody else. This is probably the most viewers I've ever had doing this type of stuff. Uh, the art always, like, it's what I'm known for, like, around the area, but it, <laughs> other than that, like, nobody really cares that I draw. So, I just bring it to Twitch every now and again and talk to random people. So... Uh, do you guys make art? Do you do you have like instas or things I can follow or write down because my phone is dead currently? Uh, and actually, fuzzy, there's a follow, my dude. Yo, so here here's the thing. Uh, hey, anybody can draw. Everybody can draw. Um. Yo, hell yeah. I'll have to check it. Uh, I can teach you how, like, Captain, uh, I, don't, I don't know if Fuzzy has maybe taught you this, but I can draw you uh, draw hands in about five minutes or so, and I can teach you how to do that in about five minutes or so. Uh, same thing with portraits. I, I have broken portraits down, so I can do a full portrait painting in about an hour uh, with oil and stuff. It's not that anybody is bad at art, it's just that you haven't been taught the right way yet. And maybe the way I teach you might not be the right way, but it can at least give you tips to get you closer to the right way. Uh, I, I used to go to a hookah lounge and set up a canvas and Bob, Bob Ross it and talk to people and pitch my art that way and I would teach lessons there and I'm like I teach lessons to kids I'm trying to be a college professor at some point <laughs> so yeah uh yo yeah, oh, captain if you want to see how to draw hands let's uh or like portraits we'll we'll open it up real quick whatever uh let me change the background so we're not like blinding let me so Normally, I would just like hold out my hand to draw, and we'll do one we've done before because this is well lit. This song is an absolute banger, by the way. So, if you don't and you're just starting out, use reference. I always use reference. Uh, I've gotten to the point where I can kind of not, but. Oh, use reference. Uh, if you're practicing, it doesn't matter. Do master copies. The, the the best artists are the best thieves. I I steal everything I've ever done and m just make it look like my own. But like all the ideas might be from somewhere else, and you'd never know. So uh, as you can see here, we got the hand. <laughs> let's get, let, let's give me an actual color. Hands can be broken down into very basic shapes. We're gonna do the box. We're gonna see this right here is this right here, so you can keep track. And that's actually part of the thumb. This is where people get messed up. You like everybody wants to jump to details first, but that's like not the case. Start simple. Draw circles and lines. Because these are easy to fix. You're not worried about details. You're worried about placement. And where it's going to go. And maybe, maybe you just flush out a little here and there. Give this a little bit of finger. But now... Then you're going to have those knuckles over there. And it's, it's all just building around lines and circles and then knowing um, the distances between fingers. And like you, you 
you just work it out. Fingers always kind of have, uh, look into the golden ratio and, uh, Maybe, maybe one of you guys in chat can... How was it? It's, uh... It's not the Pythagorean theorem, but it's kind of like it. Where the tip of this finger plus this equals the length of this. Uh, and you can see it in your arms. Um, it, it's, it's wild. If you've never looked up the golden rate of Fibonacci... Fibonacci number sequence uh, and, and the golden ratio. Uh, Tool sings, uses a song in the Fibonacci number sequence for a little bit. Anyways, getting off track. Uh, but yeah, you, you literally just build off of a box and I'm, maybe I won't do an angle that's so complicated here, but we'll do that. Now we've got the thumb. This will come up here. Now it comes up ju just roughly underneath here. We'll get the angle. Flush that out. Drop that. So say say we're not gonna do anything like this crazy. Say say we just want to do this. Once again, there's a thumb. We'll draw one finger there. Knuckle. Draw the knuckles in. Boom. Got a pinky there. Got a knuckle. Yeah, you just, just look at the human hand like a robot. <laughs> break, break it down into like Five Nights at Freddy's Creatures. Almost the same. That goes up a little bit higher. That will come to about there. And then, yeah, you just like literally flesh them in and draw the end of my pinky there. Uh, the, the problem is when you run into foreshortening and you don't really know how to handle that for the first time because foreshortening is a nightmare. As you can see, like it already looks like a hand, and then you just add some good lighting to it, and ta-da, you, boom. Do you know Chop and Waltz in A minor? Uh, let me see if it's on the list. I've probably listened to it. Uh, I'm, I believe Moonlight Sonata, also uh, like all three sections, is one of the like greatest masterpieces of all time. Uh, we got Chop and Nocturnes, number two in E-flat major. Uh, Chop and Nocturne in C-sharp minor. Let's see if we... I've never had anybody even, like, mention other classical songs in here. Do it? Do I do I know it offhand? Probably not. Uh, have I heard it? Probably most definitely. I I hope my hand lesson was like kind of useful. Uh, then we draw the thumb in. I don't even have. We'll give him a big old gamer thumb. Thumbs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe maybe we finish this one out real quick since we already started. Then maybe, maybe, maybe we just add the shadows, right? We just add a couple shadows. Pay attention to what I'm doing. Eventually, like this won't be a black out outline. That's when you would lay in like a light and kind of you know give it true form. Uh, but, you know, when you're figuring stuff out, sometimes you just need a guide. Or, what you can do, which is always fun, is start introducing different colors into it. Uh, and every now and again, it brings, like, an entirely different feel to the piece, too. So now we have a red hand. You know, what, what does it do to the mood? Does it change the temperature? Always. Um, 
now can, can we bring this back with like not that blue <laughs> that's way too light and drop it down to like a thallo and hell let's let's make it opaque that's not the color we want my guys so maybe we throw up a quick portrait lesson as well after we uh So, uh, Fuzzy, if you're still in chat, what, what kind of art do you do, my dude? Um, I'm interested. I'll have to hop over the stream and say hi. Man, maybe we could go super meta and I could just bring up your stream on my stream. <laughs> Is that allowed? Does, does Twitch allow that? I don't, I don't know how to raid people. I'm, I'm one of the low-key worst streamers known to man. down here. Let's follow the light. If you ever get lost, just follow a shadow. It'll lead you back to where you need to be. Where are we at, boys? Alright, so we're going to rough in the thumb. track it is also a certified banger. <laughs> all, all, uh, most classical music is bangers. That's, that's the only way to put it. Uh, it's a little rough, but we'll work out those details in the end, right? Uh, what we got? Pencil. Blade gray. Uh oh, for, <laughs> I forgot about the pinky. Let's get that bad boy in here. Nope, that lines up with about that. That's messy. <laughs> that all have to be wrapped up later. So it's a nice little hand. Draw that light down there. Saw it back to darkish black. <laughs> Maybe not.
I will say I've drawn this hand before, so I do kind of have, like, a small advantage of doing this again. Testing out Razor's 100,000 click guarantee. finger right there. That's got a red glow. What are we doing with this finger? Let's fix that too. Alright, <laughs> uh, I gotta swap. This ain't doing it for me anymore. We'll get sketchy with it. This finger comes up way too high. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, j just like a standard drawing course, anything specific, anatomy, landscape, that type of stuff. I listen. You, you if you want to talk about art, you, you've come to the right domain, my dude. I, I don't get to talk about it enough, and when I like find people that are interested in it, I'm like, I'm gonna go off on it. I, I love it. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> it's uh, that's gotta be nice having like that full understanding uh, because then you can also understand how a body moves uh, a little bit better um, and maybe like when you're working on certain pieces you'll have like a better understanding of like how things fit yo dope uh, per pers ah. perspective drawings are a nightmare for me. Uh, I had trouble with them for the longest time until I painted a bunch of landscapes and you you force yourself to figure them out or you don't. Uh, I never understood people that only draw like the same thing over and over and over again. Like I get it. Like cool you want to be a master of it but there's so much cool stuff to draw out there. Yeah, oh, uh, I did um, the scene of, I think it's his name is Dopio, on the phone, quote-unquote, the frog. I just heard something uh, amazing. One medication thanks, is Nair approved Tech. to treat and prevent. Listen, I, I, if you learn anything about this channel, understand that I do not pay subscriptions to YouTube or Google or anything like that. Uh, I, I, I try to be anti-subscription as much as possible because I'm so tired of it already. Uh, also, while we're on the subject, fuck Bobby Kotick and fuck Activision. Coca-Cola, kick him off your team as well. Bobby Kotick is scum of the universe while I have an audience. <laughs> I... 
need to watch JoJo. Uh, I'm a diehard Bebop fan. I haven't watched the remake yet. Uh, big fan of Bakano. Afro Samurai. A few others. They're like Evangelion. Have I seen a Rocky? Or I have not. A Rocky? Nah, I'm always down for new art. Dope. Yeah. Now, uh, pop, pop me a message and I'll definitely check it. Um, do, do you know Wes Burt or James Jean by chance? Uh, Wes Burt did the artwork, some of the artwork for Dishonored. Uh, he now does artwork for the Avengers. And then James Jean does somewhat surrealism psychedelic type drawings but he just did artwork on a Kona Sig uh, and it's the world's fastest piece of artwork and I forget who was doing the artwork for the Queen of the Stone Age album specifically villains uh, their, their artwork is absolutely well, for like modern day artists, uh, I consider masters. became an artist to try and become a Magic the Gathering artist or a comic book cover variant artist and uh, neither of those things has happened but I have made a children's book which I think is at least somewhat cool. <laughs> be working on book cover right now. Uh, as you can see, I'm not doing that. <laughs>
Yeah, well, I appreciate it, my dude. Sorry. Uh, I had to help with some quick family stuff real quick. Uh, I may have to kill the mic again real quick, but I appreciate anybody that's stuck around. Um, so yeah, this is, this is how you draw a hand. <laughs> uh, I hope you gained some masterclass information from it. Let me mute this real quick again, but I'll keep trying to work in between. Yeah, that's awesome. Hell yeah. I'll, uh, I'll also check it after the show and uh, de definitely give you a follow. You'll, you'll have to let me know how your art endeavors go. I'm certainly intrigued. If you have an Insta, please follow me because like, anything involving art, I, like, I, I need to follow and I, like, I want to be a part of and like, I need to be involved in the sphere. Uh, and I love watching people like start from the beginning and grow and you know basically art glow up it's fantastic <laughs>
Oh, Captain, my dude. Thank you.
Uh, enjoyed my progress so far. Still very messy. Yeah, that's dope. Uh, I think we've hit like a good stopping point. I'll definitely have to bring this up again, mainly because it's midnight and I need to go to bed. But shout out to Fuzzy Hoodie for the raid and the follow. Shout out to Captain Cipher. Best of luck in your art endeavors. As always, shout out to my friends PK Gavin Morgalore. Please give them a like, follow, subscribe, so on and so forth. Please check out Morgalore's Instagram where you can find his brand new merch, including a wonderful winter beanie for all this cold, cold weather that may hit us unless global warming kills us all. While you're on Instagram, please check out mine. We plugged it earlier at Up and Smoke Productions. You'll find my professional grade fine art and other shenanigans. And as always, as you venture out into this world of MS paints and hands, please be safe, please be good to each other, please be better. I will see you on the other side. Thank you. Take care. Good night.